and welcome to Python for Everybody. Uh, we're doing some sample code. You can get your, a hold of the sample code zip if you want to follow along. And so uh, we're picking up in the middle here where we are running a, a simple spider uh, that's retrieving data and putting it into uh, running this spider.py file. And it's cruising around and uh, doing things. And, uh, and the beauty of any of these spider processes is I can stop any time and just hit control C. And, uh, and so we take a look at the uh, uh, spider.sqlite file and retrieve it. And it looks like we got 302 pages. I don't know how many we got retrieved. 70, okay, there we go. We got about uh, 100. Oh, wait, I'm looking for the wrong thing. No, 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 no. Yeah, we got about 107 pages. So what we're going to do now with 107 pages is we are going to um, run the page rank algorithm. Okay, so let's take a look at that code. So, so the idea of page rank, um, we're going to run this page rank algorithm. Uh, the SP reset just resets the page rank, and SP rank runs as many iterations of page rank. So the, the basic idea is that if you were to look at the links here, um, you know, we think of page one pointing to page two gives some of page one's love to page two. Page four, page, page four has some value that it gives to page one. You go on and page two has, gives love to page 46 over and over and over again. And so, but the problem is, is that how good is page one and how much positive karma does it give to page two? And so what happens is, is we, we, we start by giving every page a, a rank of one. We say, look, everybody starts out equal. But then what we do is we divide up in one iteration of the page rank algorithm, we divide up the goodness of a page across its outbound links and then accumulate that and that becomes the next rank, okay? And so, so let's take a look at the code for, uh, for the, the page rank algorithm. So this is pretty simple. It only imports SQLite 3 because it's really doing everything in the database, right? It's going to it's going to be updating these columns right here in the database, and so um, so we're going to do some things here be, to speed this up. Um, this rank runs. If you're thinking of Google, this rank runs slowly and is going to run continuously to keep updating these things. So the first thing I do is I read in all of the from IDs from the links. Select distinct throws out any uh, duplicates, um, and and so I have all the the, the from IDs, which are the, the all the pages that have links to other pages, because uh, all the pages are in pages, but in links to be have a from ID, you have to also have a to ID, okay? And so we're also going to look at uh, the pages that receive page rank, and we're kind of pre-caching this stuff. Okay, and so we're going to do a select distinct of from ID and to ID and loop through that group of things. And um, we're not going to, we're making a links list here. And so we're saying if the from ID is the same as the to ID, we're not interested. If the from ID is not already in my from IDs that I've got, I'm going to skip it. If the to ID is not in the from ID, meaning that this is a to ID that's not also, we're not, I don't, we don't want links that point off to nowhere or point to pages that we haven't retrieved yet. And that's what this is saying. So this is really going to give us, it's a filter on the from IDs and the to IDs from the links table so that it only are the links that point to another page we've already retrieved. And then we're going to keep track of the entire superset of the two IDs, the destination IDs. And I'm just putting these all in lists so that I don't have to hit the database so hard. Okay, so this is getting what's called the strongly connected component, meaning that any of these IDs, there is a path from every ID to every other ID eventually. So that's called the strongly connected component in graph theory. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, we're going to select new rank from pages um, where for all the from IDs, right? And so we're going to have a dictionary that's based on the ID, the primary key, that's what node is, equals the rank. And so if we look at our database, 
that means that for the, the part of the strongly connected component in links, we're going to grab this number and stick it into a dictionary based on the primary key of this, um, based on the primary key, this number right here. So we're going to have a dictionary that's this mapped to that. Again, we want to do this as fast as possible. Now we're only doing one iteration at the beginning, so it asks how many times you want to run it. Okay, um, and uh, so we just take it, make an integer of that. We check to see if there's any any uh, values in there. If there are no values, we are bad. Um, and now we're going to go i equals one to range many. This is going to be one to one, so it might run however many times. And then what it's going to do is it's going to compute the new page ranks and. And so what it's really going to do is it's going to take the page rank, the previous ranks, and loop through them. And uh, this is the, pe the previous ranks is the mapping of primary key to old page rank. Okay. And for each node, we're going to have total equals total plus old rank, and then we're going to set the next ranks to be uh, zero. Okay. And then what we're going to do is figure out the number of outbound links for each page rank item. So node and old rank in the list of the previous ranks. These are the IDs we're going to give it to. And so for this particular node, we're going to have the outbound links. And we're going to go through the links and not link to itself, although we, we, we made sure that doesn't happen. We make sure that this. But then we're going to make a list called give IDs, which are the IDs that Node is going to share its goodness. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say how much goodness are we going to flow outbound based on our previous rank of this particular node and the number of outbound links we have. So that's how many time, that's how much we're going to give in our outbound links. And then what we're doing is all the IDs we're giving it to we started with the next ranks being zero for these folks. These, these are the, the, the receiving end, and we're going to add the amount of page rank to each one. So whatever this is, so we'll go through all of the links, give out fractional bits of our current goodness, and it's accumulated in each one. And so eventually, all the incoming links will have been have granted each new link uh, value, OK? Now I'm just going to run through and calculate the new total, um, and and this is a, this evaporation. The idea is is that um, you can't you can't it has to do with the page rank algorithm that you uh, there are dysfunctional shapes in which page rank can be trapped, and this evaporation is uh, taking a fraction away from everyone and giving it back to everybody else, and so we add this evaporative uh, factor. And uh, then we're going to do some computations just to show some stuff. And that is, we're calculating the uh, difference, the average difference between the page ranks. And you'll see this when I start running it. And that is telling us, this is going to tell us the stability of the page rank. So from one iteration to the next, the more it changes, the least stable it is. And you'll see in a sec that these things stabilize. And then we're, and we'd say, what's the average difference in the page ranks per node, which is what this is, and that's what we're going to print. And now we're going to take the new ranks and make them the old ranks, and then run the loop again. So I'm not actually updating the database each time through the page rank iteration, but then at the very end, I am going to do the update for all of these things and update all of the rankings sort to with a new rank. So I'm doing an in-memory calculation so that this runs, this loop here runs screamingly fast. Even if I want to do like this loop a hundred times or a thousand times, it's really all just in-memory data structures. Okay, so it's probably easier just for me to show you this. It'll be very, uh, the code runs quite simply. Python 3 uh, sprank rank dot py. And so I'm only going to run it for one iteration. And that means that it's going to, this loop here is just going to run one time. And so it's going to start with the page ranks 
of the new rank of one, and it's going to just run one iteration and put the rank there, okay? And then update this as well. So let's go ahead and run that once for one iteration. Okay, and so it, it ran one iteration, and the average change between the previous rank and the new rank is one. So there, it's actually quite crazy. So I'm going to re refresh here, and you'll see that the old rank was one, and the new rank is went way down, way down, way down, way down, down a little bit, down, down some, up a whole bunch, down, down, up. So you see that they went down and up. Now the sum of all of these numbers is going to be the same, right? Because all it did it was like <coughs> floated out and, and, and recalculated it. And so that's what happens with page rank. And so what'll happen is if I run one more page rank iteration, this number will these numbers will be used to compute the new new rank, and then these will be calculated to the old rank. And so you'll see that these will get they will change again. So I'll just run it one more time. So I'm gonna run one iteration, and then I'm gonna hit refresh. So you see all these numbers got copied over, but now there's a new rank that's computed based on these guys. And so they're getting, this one went up. This was 0.13, that's gone up a little bit. This one's gone up some more. This one's gone up. This one went down, right? So this one went down from six to eight. And you can see that the, the difference is now, the average difference between this number and this number across all of them went from one point something to 0 0.41. And you'll see that with these very few pages, this page rank conver converts converges really quickly, okay? So let's run it again. And I'll just run 10 and you will watch how this converges. Okay, so there you go, it converges. So, and, and you're seeing now after like 12 iterations that the difference between the old rank and the new rank, well, that's because it's that old rank. I'll run one more iteration so that you can see. So this old rank is less than, you know, 0 0.005, and so now you can see that these numbers are sort of stabilizing. This is the average, that 005 number is the average difference between these two things. Now, if we're going to pretend to be Google for a moment, we can say python3 spider.py. So, so, in, so let's just do 10 more pages. Now what's going to happen here is these new pages are going to have page ranks of one, okay? So let's get out. So if I do a refresh now and I look at new rank, so there's these guys that have high rank, what you'll see, I hope, if we, if we're, yeah, okay, so you see new pages, right? These are the new ones that we just retrieved. Um, I don't know if they're linked or not, and they all got one. So some, some old pages are way up, 14, uh, some pages, if we go downwards, are way down, right? So these are like useless pages. They, you know, they point to somewhere, but nobody points to them. That's what happens with these page ranks, okay? So what happens is, is the new records get this point one, And so if I run the ranking code again, and I run, uh, let's just run five iterations, you'll see that the average delta goes up just briefly as it sort of assimilates these new pages. And then it goes right back down again. And so that's what's happening with Google. It's sort of running the spider to get more pages, then running the page rank, which gets disturbed a little bit, but then it reconverges very rapidly. And of course, they've got billions of pages, and we've got hundreds of pages, but it's you get the idea. Okay, and so I can run I can run page rank like a hundred times, and after a while, it just sort of hardly is changing. So that's 2.7 to the negative tenth power. So now, you know, let me run it one more time to update the stuff. And if I refresh this, you're going to see. Look at the look at how stable these numbers are. Fourteen nine four three five nine one five six seven. The difference is there in the seventh one. So that's why this whole page rank is really cool. It seems like it's really chaotic when it first starts out, and away you go. Okay, so that was just this SP rank, right? SP rank. Uh, and SP reset, we can look at that code, I won't bother running it. Uh, it just sets the old rank to one. That's it. That's as much code as you've got. It just restarts it and lets it rerun. So I'm going to stop now 
and I'm going to uh, start a new video where I talk about this phase here where we're actually going to visualize the page ranked data. <laughs>